Fish on. Fish on. Big one. Fish on. Oh, that's a good fish. Some of the best donuts in Oklahoma City. Polar donuts, hit them up. My man Yance got the best ones. Boom. Couple for me, couple for the wife and kid. Let's go. <sighs> Woo! Anglers Worldwide, I'm Jabroni Joe. You already know, I'm back with another show. In today's video, it is early, early morning on the last day of April. Me and my buddy Barry, my cousin Juan is on the way. We are back out at the sand pit. We are gonna try and get on some bass. According to Barry's awesome app, Bass Forecast, it is supposed to be an epic day of fishing. So let's see if that app is correct. Get out on the water and get on some fish. Let's go. All right. Oh, grab the monster and have a seat. Oh, good lordy be. And just like that, folks, we are on the water. All right, guys, I got a cane thumper on a uh, swim bait hook. Let's see if we can't make something happen. I think we're maybe a half hour, 20 minutes into fishing. Barry just caught one small one up there ahead of me. I'm fishing behind him. I have not had a bite yet. Ah, uh, there's my cousin. Alrighty, we got Cousin Juan all rigged up and ready to go. He is right behind me, and we are heading over here to introduce him to Barry, and we will get back to some fishing. 
Barry's been posted up at this spot over here for a while. And I think he's been catching fish. He literally just like waved me down. So I'm thinking he's trying to tell me they are hot over here. Man, whew. I want this to be my profile picture on Facebook. Just me and my kayak, just. Fish on. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, he's pulling drag. Oh my gosh, that's a good fish. Good God. Come here, baby. That might be a new PB! Ooh. Look at that! Slow down! Oh, look at that beautiful fish. Let's get it back in the water. He needs, he needs water. All right, come on, baby. Kick off. Show us what you're made of. There you go. Okay, Joe Bros, that fish catch was completely unexpected. I took my GoPro chest mount off to take a picture with my cousin, uh, just a silly picture. And uh, what ended up happening was I decided to just make a couple of casts and ended up hooking into that big fish. So I don't know how good the camera got that. Hopefully it got it okay. But uh, we're going to get the GoPro back on the chest and get back to some serious fishing now that we have one fish in the boat, a good fish at that. See if there's more out here biting now. Let's get right back into it. Whew. Well, that fish catch was consistent with what Barry said all of his fish were like this morning. He said he didn't feel much of a bite, maybe a small tick, almost like you're coming over a rock. And then he just saw his bait swimming off, which is precisely what happened to me. Saw my bait swimming off, set that hook, and it was just, started feeling my drag get pulled. That one was on the Big Bite Baits Battle Bug. It's kind of like a fancy version of a brush hog and I'm actually really enjoying this bait. It's a big, kind of a big profile. Uh, they come five inches long. I bite off like the end nub of them for these four aught hooks just so that they're not quite so long. But I like all the appendages and stuff that they put on them. Guys, my, my Texas rig was off this branch and I caught the fish off the branch. I felt the bite. <laughs> That's funny. I was trying to get my, my Texas rig off the branch and I felt a tick and the fish carried it off the branch for me. 
Ah, there we go. Dinky, dinky little fish. All these little guys, though, are still healthy. Still got chunky little bellies. Even if they are smallish. Much later. Fish on. Oh, dang it. Yeah, felt pretty decent. First bite I've had in a while. It looks like we got a game warden. Fish on, big one. Oh. Woo! Looks like we had a game we got a game warden out there and we just landed another nice fish. And he was right in this junk over here. There we go. Took a minute to get him unhooked, but another beautiful fish for the morning. Two decent ones and a, ch and a tiny dink so far, but we will take it. Much, much later. There we go, guys. I got one more fish. We were just packing up the kayaks for the day, and uh, I caught this one last fish on my Texas rig from the bank before we get out of here. The GoPro died, but hey, at least we got one more. See you guys back at the Joe Bro Studio. Alrighty anglers, we have made it back to Studio Joe. The app bass forecast that my buddy Barry used said that today was going to be some epic fishing and it ended up being a pretty decent day. I caught a few fish, some nice fish, and a pretty good three and a half pound fish there, so I had a pretty decent day. My buddy Barry did better than I did because, to be honest, he's a better fisherman. The dude's an absolute hammer on the water. He caught 20 fish today, majority of them a pound or less, but he did catch a couple of nice three pounders just like the one I caught. So we had a pretty awesome day on the water and I'd say the app is fairly accurate at least for the pit, the body of water we were fishing today. My cousin Juan, he didn't catch any fish today but he is still brand new to the concept of fishing from a kayak. So we got to give him a little bit of adjusting time to get, you know, relegated into the world of kayak fishing. And I'm sure he'll get his first catch out of a kayak here soon. That is going to wrap up today's video guys. So be sure to smash the like button and body slam a comment in that comment section and let me know what you thought of today's adventures. We are gonna be hitting the road and getting out to new bodies of water, new fields to camp in here in the next few videos. And I am so excited that the summer is finally here. My wife is finally done with school and we can get on the road and have some awesome Jabroni Joe adventures. But that is going to wrap it up for today's video. So we will catch you guys in the next one. And remember, if it ain't Joe, it's got to go. Angler out.